Welcome to Charging with Fitz. Today we're going to uh, head over to Waukegan, Illinois and swap out our uh, rubber dust trailer and uh, bring her back to New Berlin, uh, New Berlin, that's wrong, Lisbon, Lisbon, Iowa, where we go all the time. And uh, that's going to be our run for today. We're going to do some trucking, uh, fight some wind again, and uh, have some fun, so stay tuned. dropped our empty trailer in the right spot and now I'm hooking up to this loaded one I need to get my suspension up because this one is was left up by me <laughs> give me a second to air everything up Okay, it's been a pretty good morning. I left very early this morning and I got in just before, just before eight o'clock in the morning when I got here, which is perfect. Just what I wanted. Took him a little while to acknowledge that I existed. I gotta check those tires. <clears throat> you know what? Probably let you go here in a second. Because I need both hands. Yep. I'll let you guys go. I'll get hooked up and uh, we'll continue from there. As you can probably guess, it is much later than the last time I talked to you. I think I was still uh, airing up some tires on uh, the trailer when I last talk to you. We are almost to Iowa. That's what we are. We're about to cross the Mississippi River here. It's rather full. As you can probably tell. Whoa, that's really full. Let's see if we can get a good glimpse of it. Look out the... Uh... Yeah, that's rather full. here in Lisbon currently getting unloaded we made it in um, had a little bit of a frustration coming in here um, for the last week and a half um, the uh, downtown Lisbon has been one lane coming through there <clears throat> and so I'm like okay you know I, I'm strapped for time I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go that way, even though it sort of makes me nervous. Well, I found out today that it was actually closed. And I already had pointed down there. They don't <laughs> the frustration is that they didn't they didn't label it far enough back so that I would not have committed. So I committed down a, a road that that, you know, I <laughs> it was fine. We got through, but I did not feel comfortable. Uh, taking the route that I had to take. <laughs> it, uh, I guess technically it was a truck route. Maybe. It wasn't labeled as as a uh, weight limit. But I didn't feel comfortable. <laughs> oh well. We're in here. It only took us one try to get in. We got it on the first try, which 
is rather surprising, which I'm very thankful for because I got in here late. Got in here, oh man, it was probably 7 or 720, 220, probably. Supposed to be here by 2. Thankfully, the unloader only it does it only goes home at three o'clock. So he's he's unloading me. It's three twenty now, and I feel really bad. But yeah, he, uh, he was willing to, and uh, told him I wasn't gonna make a habit of it. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be here right now either. I got up really early this morning. I've been up for a long time. Uh, I don't even know if I want to tell you what time I left this morning to get to. Uh, Waukegan had a good time, but we're going to go ahead and get unloaded. I got to put my trailer over the next to the other one. There's not usually a trailer over there. Uh, another trailer. I thought there was just one that lives there. Apparently there's two. And uh, we'll figure it out. It might be a little cattywampus in there and I might have to back onto the grass, but we will figure it out. I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. Um, and uh, let you know what's going on. All right, so I'm done. I'm unloaded and I'm bobtail. So I feel like taking you back through Lisbon here. I told, made the made the fuss about it, but I didn't actually. I had no way of showing you because I wasn't going to do it. I want a trailer coming through here. Okay, so previous days, this up here has said one lane road ahead not road closed this is at this point it's too late for a full semi truck it's just too late um i'm just going to take you through the route here like i said it ended up being fine but it was just a pain because i don't know if it's a 48 or 53 footer it's a big trailer and not really meant for coming through here. So turn left here, decently tight. That that turn's not too bad because there's plenty of room around. Thankfully, they got this corner right here um, graveled. And uh, you see, He's got a red light, I do not. All right. There's just not, a, this is a very, it's a pretty narrow road here. And you got, you know, the lines up here that that one, I had to have been close to. I had to have been close to. <laughs> oh man, it made me very nervous. I was weaving back and forth trying to find the highest point of these wires. I probably wasn't as close as I thought I was but sure as heck made me nervous. All these side roads are closed. I don't know what exactly they're doing to the road over there, but uh, let's see if I can point down the road here. What's going on? But definitely very closed. So then, uh, comes right up here so this side road's also closed and then now we are to the center of town oh not yet I got one more closed uh, it probably doesn't do it justice on the camera but maybe some of you guys have been here before you know this area you know what I'm talking about here this is the turn that really made me nervous I actually went up on the curb on the far side on purpose so that I knew I could make this turn and then so this nice sharp left hand turn there for the other direction and then here's downtown
downtown Lisbon. And this right here, I came from the left here. The truck route goes left right here. Right where that road closure sign is. And uh, here we go. So this was a fun turn right here too. Once we get to this point, it's not too bad. All the side roads are, what is it, eight ton looks like. Oh, eight ton limit, so there's no, there's no turning. There's no uh, getting out of this once you've committed down this road. That's why the sign for uh, road closure should be right up here. The side for road, road closure should be at this next stop sign, 100%. I should never have had to point my nose down this road. It should have been here right on the corner. It was, it was not, obviously, you can see. It should have been right here. Should have been obvious. Road closed. Okay. I'm probably gonna let you go here because I gotta do some shifting. And I wanna get people mad at me. Okay, here we are, back at my house. Oh, another day of fighting wind. Another day. Tomorrow it shouldn't be too bad, but tomorrow I don't have a load and I'm okay with that. I'm going to sleep in and maybe do some stuff in the truck. And if I get a load partway through the morning, that'd be great. But I'm not really worried about it. Um, I might just work on stuff for Thursday and Friday. And I'm sure next week I'll have some more of these uh, rubber dust loads um, at some point. Maybe the end of the week, probably, would be my guess. We may even have something at the end of this week. We still haven't run to Madison, Wisconsin, which is another one of those runs that has not showed up yet. Um, it's, I don't, I'm, I'm sure it's a smaller location and they don't produce as much so that it doesn't need uh, done but once a month, I think. Anyway, uh, thanks to you guys for watching. I'll, we didn't really talk about much today. We did a lot of driving, um, but thanks for, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, and uh, leave a comment down below and we'll see you on the next one.